don't think there is a lot of communication between scientists and the public. Right. So, you know, we tend to stay in our little enclave and doing all the research and we're getting it out there by publishing papers, but we're not really investing a lot of time and energy into um, informing the public about what we're doing and how we can benefit them. Research assistant here at UE. I currently study the effects of combined heat and drought stress on chlorophyll content in tomato varieties. It's a very popular crop that a lot of people look forward to buying in the supermarkets or the markets themselves. Tomato is a very important economic crop. I'm quite interested in like the molecular basis of disease. You know, what what tiny little mutations in proteins can cause like sickle cell anemia. My degree was based extensively on neuroscience, pharmacology and biochemistry, which, all, which was all really interesting to learn about, but you know, when it came to my dissertation topic in my third year, I was like, I don't really want to research this. And I was clueless on what to research. I had to choose a topic. But I knew I wanted to study a long lab project, so being a lab with PhD students and researching a topic for about a year. A venue research is something I wanted to get into. So chlorophyll content is a really great parameter for you to study if you want to understand how well your plant can cope under abiotic stresses like heat and drought. So by undertaking a study like this, then we can then present empirical evidence to many policymakers, farmers themselves, and the government 